Welcome to Dr. Lee's Mechanical Wolf. The topic of this lecture is Why does the wood club face have a horizontal bulge? In brief, the reason why the wood club face is not as flat as an iron on a horizontal plane is to, by introducing angle effect, improve the poor ball trajectory that occurs with the excessive gear effect from off-center strikes. To address this, we'll explore the angle effect as well as the gear effect. Let's first describe the impact phenomenon on a hypothetical flat wood club face. Here, we limit our discussion to the collision of two rigid bodies, the golf ball and the club head on the horizontal plane. Now let's assume for simplicity that the sweet spot coincides with the center of the club face. On a perfect drive shot, the golf ball moves in a straight line without any side spin because the impact is precisely at the sweet spot. At this moment, the golf ball moves at about one and a half times the speed of the club head and the club head continues to move forward in the same direction, albeit with a speed reduced to two-thirds after impact. In this lecture, we'll also examine the angle effect on the horizontal plane only. As shown in the figure, whether using a wood or an iron club head, assuming centered contact, open face angle relative to club path, results in a typical fade or slice trajectory. Here, assuming that the club path always coincides with the target line, the face angle is defined as the angle between the face direction and the club path on the horizontal plane. At this point, the horizontal launch angle of the golf ball with respect to the club path is slightly smaller than the face angle and the contact with the tilted club face imparts side spin on the ball. In other words, the ball with side spin should curve due to the Magnus effect toward the face direction and away from the club path, resulting in a fade or a slice trajectory. This is a general characteristic of the angle effect. Of course, the same is true for the angle effect in draws or hooks, where the club face is closed relative to the club path. A golf ball without side spin during its straight flight still experiences a vertical downward force due to gravity and the drag force in the opposite direction of its movement. Gravity ultimately causes the golf ball to fall to the ground, while Drag is the cause of air resistance that slows down the ball's speed. On the other hand, when hitting a shot with an open or closed club face in relation to the club path, the direction in which the ball curves can be easily seen depending on the direction of the side spin generated. In other words, the Magnus effect caused by the side spin is immediately visible as the ball's trajectory curves. If one understands that the direction of the Magnus force, that is, the direction in which the ball's trajectory curves, is determined by the direction of surface velocity in front of the ball, then there is no confusion. When the golf ball is hit on the sweet spot of a club face, that is either open or closed with respect to the club path it momentarily slides and rolls along the tilted club face before separating from the head at a rebound speed. As a result, the ball is launched with a side spin rate close to the direction of the club face and follows a curved trajectory due to the Magnus effect. However, the club head does not yet undergo any twisting rotational motion after impact and simply moves forward in a slightly altered direction as its speed decreases. In other words, this is a typical angle effect 
when the head does not rotate after impact and the gear effect is not involved. Gear effect occurs when the club head undergoes a twist at impact. Although ions are not an exception, gear effect is less pronounced. So let's compare off-center hits in wood to center hits. In an off-center hit with a wood, the impact point is farther from the club head sweet spot. So the coefficient restitution reduces, and the ball speed decreases accordingly. In addition, the impact force of the ball exerted on the club head at a point farther from the sweet spot causes the club head to twist momentarily in the direction of the impact force around its center of gravity. At this moment, the club head imparts a side spin in the opposite direction on the golf ball that it is in contact with, like a pair of mating gears. All of these phenomena take place in a fraction of a second, typically within one two thousandths of a second. Afterward, the golf ball separates from the club head and flies while spinning. Let's take a shot hit on the toe as an example and explain the interaction between the golf ball and the club head in detail. As shown in the figure, the distance between the impact force that the golf ball applies to the club head at the impact point and the center of gravity of the head is called the moment arm, or simply put, the offset. The center of gravity depth of a driver is usually between 3 and 4.4 centimeters. The torque applied to the head from the glancing blow with the golf ball is equal to the product of the impact force and the offset. The resulting clockwise rotation speed of the head is proportional to the torque, but inversely proportional to the head resistance to rotation, which is the moment of inertia, MOI. At the same time, the tangential component of the club face velocity is transferred to the golf ball by the head rotation. If the golf ball and the head maintain an ideal contact state without slipping at the impact point, like a pair of mating gears, the tangential velocity of the head at the impact point is converted directly into the surface velocity of the golf ball, causing the golf ball to gain a counterclockwise spin rate. However, if there is a slippage in the contact state, the speed transfer to the golf ball can be reduced, like a pair of rollers that slip and roll against each other. The tangential velocity component due to the rotation of the head is equal to the product of the head rotation speed and the center of gravity depth, while the tangential velocity transmitted to the golf ball is equal to the product of the ball spin rate and its radius. Only when the rotational motion of the head is smoothly transferred to the golf ball without slippage, these two velocities become equal. In other words, when the head and the golf ball make contact, they rotate it together like a pair of gears and the ratio of the ball's spin rate to the head rotation speed is determined by the ratio of the center of gravity depth to the ball radius. The center of gravity depth of a driver ranges 3 to 4.4 centimeters, and the radius of a golf ball is about 2.15 centimeters. So if there is no slipping at impact, the ball's spin rate will be 1.4 to two times the head rotational speed. Unlike wood, the gear effect can be ignored in ions as their center of gravity is located closer to the face. After impact, the golf ball side spin direction becomes counterclockwise, which is opposite to the direction of the head rotation. Therefore, 
the goal for launches in a direction perpendicular to the face at the impact point and then curves severely into a hook due to the Magnus effect caused by side spin. Similarly, a shot here on the hill will result in a slice. As mentioned earlier, if the impact point is off from the sweet spot, the coefficient of restitution decreases and the ball speed can significantly decrease compared to a normal hit at the sweet spot. There can be significant ball speed loss, especially on shots hit on the hill compared to the those hit on the toe. For shots hit on the toe or heel on a wood club with a flat face, the golfer's trajectory is severely affected by the gear effect side spin. To compensate for this, the wood club face is made with a convex surface called the horizontal bulge, so that the angle effect side spin increases in proportion to the offset, effectively reducing the gear effect side spin. In the case of a shot hit on the toe, the side spin caused by the gear effect changes the horizontal launch angle of the golf ball in the direction of the open face at the impact point, and it creates a clockwise spin in the direction opposite to the frictional force that acts in the direction of the slope where the ball slides. Likewise, in the case of a shot hit on the hill, the side spin caused by the gear effect changes the horizontal launch angle of the golf ball in the direction of the closed face at the impact point, and it creates a counterclockwise spin in the direction opposite to the frictional force that acts in the direction of the slope where the ball slides. In either cases, the angle effect side spin is always opposite in direction to the gear effect side spin. Usually, the bulge curvature is designed to give a slightly smaller angle effect side spin than the gear effect side spin. Therefore, the side spin direction of the golf ball is still mainly influenced by the gear effect. However, the launch angle is determined closer to the direction of the club face at the impact point by the angle effect, which is proportional to the bulge curvature. Wood heads, including drivers with a deep center of gravity, have a convex shape called horizontal bulge in their club face, which differs from ions with a flat club face. This is because, unlike ions, if the ball is struck on the toe or heel, it causes a significant gear effect side spin that curves the ball sharply across the target line. To compensate for this gear effect side spin and bring the ball back to the target line, bulge curvature is added to reduce the gear effect side spin. This leads to a desirable trajectory characteristic of landing near the target line, increasing forgiveness for off-center hits by turning vicious slices or hooks into suitable fades or draws. To effectively reduce excessive gear effect by the angle effect, the angle effect must also be proportional to the gear effect. Therefore, the curvature should be determined to be proportional to the center of gravity depth and inversely proportional to the moment of inertia of the head. Since the inverse of curvature is the radius of curvature, the curvature radius should be determined to be inversely proportional to the center of gravity depth and proportional to the moment of inertia of the head. In the past, wood bird curvature was determined based on a simple empirical formula proposed by Maltby in 1995, which was inversely proportional to the center of the gravity depth of the club head. Since the titanium driver head did not exist at that time, and the center of gravity of the head was not very deep, most of the curvature radii were between 9 and 12 inches. Although this old empirical formula 
which determine the curvature based only on the center of gravity depth. It's simple to apply. It has the disadvantage of ignoring other factors, such as the moment of inertia and the head speed of the club. With the increase in moment of inertia in titanium wood heads, the gear effect decreases accordingly. So the curvature radius should be larger. However, the center of the gravity depth of the large volume modern driver has also increased up to 44 millimeters. Nowadays, the typical curvature radius ranges from 10 to 13 inches. On average, the radius has increased by just one inch compared to the previous designs. In a driver with a bulge curvature radius of 10 to 12 inches, if the ball is hit one inch off the sweet spot toward the toe heel side of the club face, the face angle will increase or decrease by 4 to 6 degrees compared to the center hit. With this optimized curvature, the ball will bear off the target line before curving back toward it. If the club face is too flat, then the angle effect will not be effective in reducing the gear effect on off-center hits. Conversely, if the curvature is too pronounced, the angle effect will become excessively large and have an adverse effect. This is the summary of this lecture. To optimize the flight path of off-center hits, the bulge curvature is designed so that the gear effect side spin remains slightly greater than the angle effect side spin. Regarding the ball's trajectory from the perspective of spin characteristics, when hitting on the toil side of the club face with a wood club, the gear effect side spin causes the ball to severely curve across the target line without significantly affecting the launch angle, while the angle effect side spin causes the ball to curve away from the target line. Also, as the impact point moves away, from the sweet spot, the ball speed decreases because of a decrease in coefficient of restitution. The three rules of the bulge on off-center strikes with the launch angle, side spin, and the ball speed occur simultaneously, with the launch angle being slightly off the intended target line in the direction of the face at impact point, and the gear effect side spin decreasing as the angle effect offsets the gear effect, while the ball speed decreases slightly. As a result, there is a loss of carry, but the ball is appropriately curved back toward the target line, creating a desirable trajectory. In conclusion, the reason for giving the wood club face a convex shape with a horizontal bulge is to improve forgiveness on shot hit on the toe or heel. Thank you all for visiting Dr. Lee's Mechanical Golf YouTube channel. I hope you found the information valuable and informative.